First of all, could you just tell us a little bit about what Startup Studio is all about? Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, let me say thank you so much to you guys for letting us come here to speak with you. Um, you know, the, the Startup Studio mission is to bring about real, sustainable change to education. Um, we feel that education uh, needs to change so that students are ready for a 21st century economy. Um, and so we do this through the discipline of entrepreneurship. Um, our program is not to make you entrepreneurs. Our program is built so that you use entrepreneurship to build the skills you need in a 21st century. And so there's two, there's two things there that we want to, uh, students to learn. And one is risk, and the second is failure. Um, we want students to learn what it means to take risks at the earliest age when they're young enough to take those risks, right? When it's not that big a deal to take risks, right? And we find that students learn great skills when they do that. Um, and then the second part of it is, the best way for students to learn is to fail, right? Why you probably can relate to that. I can vouch for that. Right, yes. you fail probably a few times, uh -huh. right? and that's, yes. how we, that's how we learn the most. So we built a program in the startup studio that's very different, it's very new, and it's very much a new way to learn, and it's built on that mission. Excellent. So maybe then um, you can talk a little bit more about what makes your program um, unique from other similar companies. Yeah, thank you. That's a great question. So the thing that makes our program unique is a model that we call Learn to Start. Okay, I actually have my little Learn to Start wristband on right here so you can see it. And so Learn to Start is essentially um, a kind of methodology. Uh, it's a new way of learning. And it's built on four essential platforms. Um, the first is students in Learn to Start are going to fail. We guarantee it. We want it, right? The second is we want mentorship to be at the core of everything they do. We want to understand the value that you must find people in the world to help you um, get to where you're trying to go, right? Um, then we look at relationship. Everything you will do as young people, your success will come from relationships. So we want to teach you the skill of building relationships. And then the last one is probably the most unique of all. And it lacks, it's not very uh, obvious in education, and that is story. So we want to teach you how to use your story to be empowered in the world. So these four pillars, these, these four kind of constants, um, is how we do what we do. And uh, it's very unique to anything else that exists in education today. Excellent, excellent. I want to follow up a little bit on that, that last concept, having a story. Yeah. So um, I recently read a book by Richard Branson, and one of his um, top tips for a business was having a story yeah. to it. And he talked a lot about the story of Virgin Atlantic or Virgin Records. Yeah. Um, can you elaborate a little bit more on what a story is? For this yeah, story? yeah. So, so Richard actually is a great example of story. Right, so Richard Branson owns one of the most successful entertainment companies on the planet. But his story is steeped in failure. He had a tremendous amount of failure in his early, in the early part of his story. Um, he, tells a, he tells a great story of when he literally ran out of money. Um, and he was almost finished. And then some people came alongside him and believed in him because of, of his story. And then he was able to keep going. Um, so um, we live in a time where everything is really busy, and the noise is the noisiest it's ever been in the whole world, right? And the only thing we as human beings can adapt to is, or can pay attention to, is story. That's what actually we find really compelling. That's what we love, that's what we love to actually to kind of read and learn about people. So we have to learn as people how to tell compelling stories so that your brand can be in the world. And so it's a really important part uh, of young people's success. And, and sometimes, why well, just uh, one more thing that I think is important to talk about is sometimes when we're in class and there's 20 of us in the classroom, sometimes we forget to talk about that part. Right? We forget yeah. to say, okay, but what is your story? Right? Who, where do you come from? Good, bad, or indifferent, right? Mm -hmm. It's important that we understand who we are. Yeah. So. And I think that's an underlying um, lesson that kids at an international school are learning that we're all approaching the same subjects from uh, very different backgrounds, but coming to the same conclusion line. Yeah, cool. That's great. All right. Um, number three, why is business studies um, 
growing in importance today. And in your opinion, how has it changed in recent years with the, the internet, startup tech companies? Yeah, and so that's kind of a, that's a big question, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna try to give you a short answer, okay? okay. Um, I think, well, first of all, interestingly enough, business has always been popular. As a subject, it's always been popular. Um, I think more than ever, we're trying to push people into sciences. And we're trying to get people to think outside of business subjects, right? Um, however, it's still an incredibly popular subject. Yeah. Um, we, I think young people want to see what the markets look like. They want to learn what it is to be in the markets. This is really important, right? So, so people are really interested in business, right? Sometimes we see a lot, uh, we learn about business from a very sensational perspective as young people. We see it on TV, we see it in movies, right? So the, the concern, here's the concern we have, right? Our concern is that business, for the most part, is being taught out of textbooks, okay? It's very methodology based. And we're trying to come to the market to say, we really need to teach business out of absolute reality, which is learn by doing, as opposed to learn by reading, right? Um, you really can't learn business from a textbook. Uh, you kind of have to do it, right? Yeah. So I've spent my whole life entrepreneuring. I, entrepre I, I was born in Dublin, and I graduated college in Dublin, Ireland, and then I moved to America, and I started my own companies. And I've been doing that for 25 years. And it's steeped in failure. It's steeped in doing, right? And it's where I learned everything, right? Um, so I think just to kind of the short strokes on that question is, I think business has always been popular. But I think we need to change how we're doing it. Um, and a lot of that is about kind of access to the real world. Excellent. Um, so I'm going to open it up to questions from the audience right now. Um, so if anyone has a question, um, please raise your hand. What was your inspiration when you first started the, oh no, what, what was your inspiration when you, for your business? No. Uh, so what is your name? Ryden. Ryden. Uh, so, so Ryden, are you talking about my inspiration to start my own business when I was young? Or are you talking about this particular business to start up studio? Mm, this particular. This particular business, okay. So um, I was actually, so my children had attended a school very much like your school. And the people that ran the school, the leaders of that school, they knew me as a business guy. And one of them approached me and asked me if I would help them build an entrepreneurship program for the school. And I came in and I looked at what was being offered and everything I saw was out of textbooks. And I had lived my life doing entrepreneurship and nothing came from textbooks. I learned everything through failure and doing. And so my inspiration was, I felt there was an absolute need to change that. And so I was compelled and I wanted to make a change because I really had a heart for you, young people. I wanted to give you an opportunity to learn entrepreneurship the way I believed it needed to be learned. Does that help? Is that good? Yeah. Great. Thank you. Good. Great question. Anyone else? I know you all have some good questions out there. <clears throat> I feel so important that answering these great questions. <laughs> Jimmy, what is your question? Like, uh, I just want you to focus on the business. Like, have you ever been here in Vietnam and you ever know about the business uh, in Vietnam? Yeah. yeah. So, so you're Jimmy, yeah? Yeah. So Jimmy, uh, I'm actually, this is my fourth trip in the year. So I've come to Vietnam in a, lo a lot in the last 12 months. And I, the first thing I'm going to tell you is I've really fallen in love with Vietnam and the people of Vietnam. Um, there's definitely a, a very strong energy here. People are wanting to learn business. Uh, if you look at, uh, for example, the government, uh, like Ho Chi Minh City, there's ser serious money that's being put now, budgeted to help startup companies. Uh, uh, just $50 million being allocated in the next two years. Uh, so we see a lot of interest in business. But we worry a little bit about the fact that money is not the solution to starting companies. Education is the solution, right? So what we're gonna try to do for the Vietnamese people is, we want to come and help you learn before you start this process of going into business. So absolutely, Jimmy, I think that there's a great mentality and there's a want and a need in Vietnam for this and for business. Um, but we have to make sure we make it the best it can be. Excellent. Thank you. 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 Thank you
tonight. Great question. question. I want I want you guys to get these notes down exactly. All right. I want to see those pens moving. All right. Uh, any other questions? Um, what do we need to prepare to start a business in America? Oh, great. Right. So what's your name? Clara. Clara. Yeah. Uh, so you're talking about you going to America? Is this what you're asking me? Mm, like, yeah, students. Or... So I believe, so there's some complexity to this because going to America requires a visa. You know this word, visa? Yeah. And it also requires a lot of investment for the government of America to give you this. So I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, why America? Why? Why America? I guess. A lot um, of yeah. Why do you say that? Why do you think America is so interesting? Well, because a lot of companies are have started there. Yes. Um, like Amazon, eBay, yes. more. Yes. Um, this is true. America is a very innovative country. It's a very entrepreneurial country, right? It's also an incredibly competitive. Clara, you know this word? Competitive. America is very competitive. I believe there's a, there's a lot of opportunity here in Vietnam uh, because this is a newer emerging economy, right? Um, so specifically on your question, it is complex to start a business in America for you because you have to get approved to come and live there, right? I want to say the last I saw it, I think it's a $500,000 investment for you to get a visa to be able to start a business in America. So it's a very expensive uh, thing to try and do. Um, so does that help? Does that answer your question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So to elaborate a little bit on Clara's question, um, what is it about the American model that attracts business and business people right now, in your opinion? Well, the answer, so, so the answer to that question is always going to come down to one very specific thing. And that is access to capital. America has a very heavy capitalistic. You know this word capitalistic? Society. So people that want to start businesses can get access to money, right? And this is a little bit harder to do in places like Vietnam right now, in emerging economies where there's less money in the economy, right? Um, but America was always was also built on entrepreneurship. Okay, America was a space was a place that People came from all over the world to make America happen. And so this entrepreneurship mindset was a very big part of how America was built in the first place. And I think these two things combined are the reason why we see a lot of businesses come 